schistosomiasis is a disease caused by parasitic worms of the schistosoma type. It may infect the urinary tract or intestines. Symptoms may include abdominal pain, diarrhea, bloody stool, or blood in the urine. In those who have been infected a long time, liver damage, kidney failure, infertility, or bladder cancer may occur. In children it may cause poor growth and learning difficulty. The disease is spread by contact with water that contains the parasites. These parasites are released from freshwater snails that have been infected. The disease is especially common among children in developing countries as they are more likely to play in infected water. Other high-risk groups include farmers, fishermen, and people using infected water for their daily chores. Diagnosis is by finding the eggs of the parasite in a person's urine or stool. It can also be confirmed by finding antibodies against the disease in the blood. Methods to prevent the disease include improving access to clean water and reducing the number of snails. In areas where the disease is common entire groups may be treated all at once and yearly with the medication prasicontal. This is done to decrease the number of people infected and therefore decrease the spread of the disease. Prasicontal is also the treatment recommended by the World Health Organization for those who are known to be infected. Schistosomiasis affects almost 210 million people worldwide, and an estimated 12,000 to 200,000 people die from it a year. The disease is most commonly found in Africa, Asia and South America. Around 700 million people, in more than 70 countries, live in areas where the disease is common. Schistosomiasis is second only to malaria, as a parasitic disease with the greatest economic impact. Classification Species of Schistosoma that can infect humans. Schistosoma mansoni and Schistosoma intercalatum cause intestinal schistosomiasis. Schistosoma hematobium causes urinary schistosomiasis. Schistosoma japonicum and Schistosoma mekongi cause Asian intestinal schistosomiasis. Avian schistosomiasis species cause swimmer's itch and clam digger itch. Species of Schistosoma that can infect other animals. S. bovisa normally infects cattle sheep and goats in Africa, parts of southern Europe and the Middle East. Maithia Eura normally infects cattle, sheep and goats in central and southern Africa's Magraboia Eura normally infects antelope, buffalo and water buck in southern and central Africa's Curasonia Eura normally infects domestic ruminants in West Africa's Rodhania Eura normally infects rodents and carnivores in parts of central Africa. Signs and symptoms, above all, Schistosomiasis is a chronic disease. Many infections are subclinically symptomatic, with mild anemia and malnutrition being common in endemic areas. Acute schistosomiasis may occur weeks after the initial infection, especially by S. A. mansoni and S. A. japonicum. Manifestations include, abdominal pain, cough, diarrhea, eosinophilia euro extremely high eosinophil granulocyte count. Fever fatigue, hepatospelomegaly a euro the enlargement of both the liver and the spleen. Hepatic schistosomiasis is the second most common cause of esophageal viruses worldwide. Genital sores are euro lesions that increase vulnerability to HIV infection. Lesions caused by schistosomiasis may continue to be a problem after control of the schistosomiasis infection itself. Early treatment, especially of children, which is relatively inexpensive, prevents formation of the sores. Skin symptoms, at the start of infection, mild itching and a papular dermatitis of the feet and other parts after swimming in polluted streams containing cercariae. Occasionally central nervous system lesions occur, cerebral granulomatous disease may be caused by ectopic S.A. japonicum eggs in the brain, and granulomatous lesions around ectopic eggs in the spinal cord from S.A. mansoni and S.A. hematobium infections may result in a transverse myelitis with flaccid paraplegia. Continuing infection may cause granulomatous reactions and fibrosis in the affected organs, which may result in manifestations that include colonic polyposis with bloody diarrhea, portal hypertension with hematemesis and splenomegaly. Cystitis and ureteritis with hematuria, which can progress to bladder cancer. Pulmonary hypertension. Glomerulonephritis. And central nervous system lesions. 
bladder cancer diagnosis and mortality are generally elevated in affected areas. Pathophysiology, life cycle. Schistosomes have a typical trematode vertebrate invertebrate life cycle, with humans being the definitive host. Snails, the life cycles of all five human schistosomes are broadly similar, parasite eggs are released into the environment from infected individuals, hatching on contact with fresh water to release the free-swimming myricidium. Myricidia infect freshwater snails by penetrating the snail's foot. After infection, close to the site of penetration, the myricidium transforms into a primary sporocyst. Germ cells within the primary sporocyst will then begin dividing to produce secondary sporocysts, which migrate to the snail's hepatopancreas. Once at the hepatopancreas, germ cells within the secondary sporocyst begin to divide again, this time producing thousands of new parasites, known as Cercarii, which are the larvae capable of infecting mammals. Cercarii emerge daily from the snail host in a circadian rhythm, dependent on ambient temperature and light. Young Cercarii are highly mobile, alternating between vigorous upward movement and sinking to maintain their position in the water. Cercarial activity is particularly stimulated by water turbulence, by shadows and by chemicals found on human skin. The most common way of getting schistosomiasis in developing countries is by wading or swimming in lakes, ponds and other bodies of water that are infested with the snails that are the natural reservoirs of the schistosoma pathogen. Humans, penetration of the human skin occurs after the cercaria have attached to and explored the skin. The parasite secretes enzymes that break down the skin's protein to enable penetration of the cercarial head through the skin. As the cercaria penetrates the skin it transforms into a migrating schistosomulum stage. The newly transformed schistosomulum may remain in the skin for two days before locating a postcapillary venule. From here the schistosomulum travels to the lungs where it undergoes further developmental changes necessary for subsequent migration to the liver. 8 to 10 days after penetration of the skin, the parasite migrates to the liver sinusoids. S. A. japonicum migrates more quickly than S. mansoni, and usually reaches the liver within 8 days of penetration. Juvenile S. A. mansoni and S. A. japonicum worms develop an oral sucker after arriving at the liver, and it is during this period that the parasite begins to feed on red blood cells. The nearly mature worms pair with the longer female worm residing in the gynecophoric channel of the shorter male. Adult worms are about 10 mm long. Worm pairs of S. A. mansoni and S. A. japonicum relocate to the mesenteric or rectal veins. S. A. hematobiom schistosomula ultimately migrate from the liver to the pyrivesical venous plexus of the bladder, ureters, and kidneys through the hemorrhoidal plexus. Parasites reach maturity in 6 to 8 weeks at which time they begin to produce eggs. Adult S. A. mansoni pairs residing in the mesenteric vessels may produce up to 300 eggs per day during their reproductive lives. S. A. japonicum may produce up to 3,000 eggs per day. Many of the eggs pass through the walls of the blood vessels, and through the intestinal wall, to be passed out of the body in feces. S. A. hematobiome eggs pass through the ureteral or bladder wall and into the urine. Only mature eggs are capable of crossing into the digestive tract, possibly through the release of proteolytic enzymes, but also as a function of host immune response, which fosters local tissue ulceration. Up to half the eggs released by the worm pairs become trapped in the mesenteric veins, or will be washed back into the liver, where they will become lodged. Worm pairs can live in the body for an average of four and a half years, but may persist up to 20 years. Trapped eggs mature normally, secreting antigens that elicit a vigorous immune response. The eggs themselves do not damage the body. Rather it is the cellular infiltration resultant from the immune response that causes the pathology classically associated with schistosomiasis. Diagnosis Contemporary diagnosis involves detection of parasitic antigens by ELISA. All that is required from the patient is a blood sample. This screening method is highly effective. Microscopic identification of eggs in stool or, less commonly, the urine is another way of arriving at a positive diagnosis. For the measurement of eggs in the feces of presenting patients the scientific unit used is eggs per gram. 
Stool examination should be performed when infection with S.A. Mansoni or S.A. Japonicum is suspected, and urine examination should be performed if S.A. Hematobiome is suspected. Eggs can be present in the stool and infections with all Schistosoma species. The examination can be performed on a simple smear. Since eggs may be passed intermittently or in small amounts, their detection will be enhanced by repeated examinations and or concentration procedures. In addition, for field surveys and investigational purposes, the egg output can be quantified by using the Cato technique or the Ritchie technique. Eggs can be found in the urine and infections with S.A. japonicum and with S.A. intercalatum detection will be enhanced by centrifugation and examination of the sediment. Quantification is possible by using filtration through a nuclear pore membrane of a standard volume of urine followed by egg counts on the membrane. Investigation of S.A. hematobiome should also include a pelvic X-ray as bladder wall calcification is highly characteristic of chronic infection. Recently a field evaluation of a novel handheld microscope was undertaken in Uganda for the diagnosis of intestinal schistosomiasis by a team led by Russell Stothard from the Natural History Museum of London, working with the Schistosomiasis Control Initiative, London. Tissue biopsy may demonstrate eggs when stool or urine examinations are negative. The eggs of S. hematobiome are ellipsoidal with a terminal spine. S.A. Mansoni eggs are also ellipsoidal but with a lateral spine, S.A. Japonicum eggs are spheroidal with a small knob. Antibody detection can be useful in both clinical management and for epidemiologic surveys. Prevention A few countries have eradicated the disease, and many more are working toward it. The World Health Organization is promoting these efforts. In some cases, urbanization, pollution and all consequent destruction of snail habitat has reduced exposure, with a subsequent decrease in new infections. Snails, prevention is best accomplished by eliminating the water-dwelling snails that are the natural reservoir of the disease. Acrolein, copper sulfate, and niclosamide can be used for this purpose. Recent studies have suggested that snail populations can be controlled by the introduction of, or augmentation of existing, crayfish populations. For many years from the 1950s onwards, vast dams and irrigation schemes were constructed, causing a massive rise in waterborne infections from schistosomiasis. The detailed specifications laid out in various UN documents since the 1950s could have minimized this problem. Irrigation schemes can be designed to make it hard for the snails to colonize the water, and to reduce the contact with the local population. This has been cited as a classic case of the relevance paradox because guidelines on how to design these schemes to minimize the spread of the disease had been published years before, but the designers were unaware of them. Treatment Schistosomiasis is readily treated using a single oral dose of the drug prasicontal annually. As with other major parasitic diseases, there is ongoing and extensive research into developing a schistosomiasis vaccine that will prevent the parasite from completing its life cycle in humans. In 2009, Eurogent Biologics developed a vaccine against bilharziosis in partnership with insurment researchers from the Pasteur Institute. The World Health Organization has developed guidelines for community treatment of schistosomiasis based on the impact the disease has on children in endemic villages. When a village reports more than 50% of children have blood in their urine, everyone in the village receives treatment. When 20-50% of children have bloody urine, only school-aged children are treated. When fewer than 20% of children have symptoms, mass treatment is not implemented. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has recently funded an operational research program a Euro the Schistosomiasis Consortium for operational research and evaluation to answer strategic questions about how to move forward with schistosomiasis control and elimination. The focus of SCORE is on development of tools and evaluation of strategies for use in mass drug administration campaigns. Antimony has been used in the past to treat the disease. In low doses. This toxic metalloid bonds to sulfur atoms in enzymes used by the parasite and kills it without harming the host. This treatment is not referred to in present-day peer review scholarship. Prasicontal is universally used. Outside of the U.S., 
there is a drug available exclusively for treating Schistosoma mansoni and one exclusively for treating S. hematobium. While metrophonate has been discontinued for use by the British National Health Service, a Cochrane review found it equally effective in treating urinary schistosomiasis as the leading drug, prazacontol. Mirazid, an Egyptian drug made from myrrh, was under investigation for oral treatment of the disease up until 2005. The efficacy of prazacontol was proven to be about eight times than that of mirazid and therefore mirazid was not recommended as a suitable agent to control schistosomiasis. Another agent, meflokine, which has previously been used to treat malaria, was recognized in 2008 to 2009 to be effective against schistosoma. Meflokine may be used in combination with prazacontol or artemisinins. Its mechanism of action is not known but it causes extensive and severe morphological, histopathological, and ultrastructural damage to adult and juvenile schistosomes, particularly, the worm tegument, musculature, gut, and vitaline glands of female worms. Epidemiology The disease is found in tropical countries in Africa, the Caribbean, eastern South America, Southeast Asia and in the Middle East. In these areas as of 2010 it affects approximately 238 million people 85% of whom live in Africa. An estimated 600 million people worldwide are at risk from the disease. Worldwide an estimated 12,000 to 200,000 people die related to schistosomiasis yearly. Schistosoma mansoni is found in parts of South America and the Caribbean, Africa, and the Middle East. S. hematobium in Africa and the Middle East and S. japonicum in the Far East. S. mekongi and S. intercalatum are found locally in Southeast Asia and Central West Africa, respectively. Among human parasitic diseases, schistosomiasis ranks second behind malaria in terms of socio-economic and public health importance in tropical and subtropical areas. The disease is endemic in 74 to 76 developing countries. They live in rural agricultural and peri-urban areas. 20 a million have severe consequences from the disease. In many areas, schistosomiasis infects a large proportion of children under 14 years of age. History Schistosomiasis is known as Bilhazia or Bilhatsiosis in many countries, after German physician Theodor Bilharz, who first described the cause of urinary schistosomiasis in 1851. The first doctor who described the entire disease cycle was Brazilian parasitologist Piraja da Silva in 1908. The first known case of infection was discovered in 2014, it belongs to a child who lived 6,200 years ago. It was a common cause of death for ancient Egyptians in the Greco-Roman period. Society and culture, schistosomiasis is endemic in Egypt, exacerbated by the country's dam and irrigation projects along the Nile. From the late 1950s through the early 1980s, infected villages were treated with repeated injections of tartar emetic. Epidemiological evidence suggests that this campaign unintentionally contributed to the spread of hepatitis C via unclean needles. Egypt has the world's highest hepatitis C infection rate, and the infection rates in various regions of the country closely track the timing and intensity of the anti schistosomiasis campaign. See also, Genital schistosomiasis, trematode life cycle stages, tropical disease, male menstruation, a misunderstood symptom caused by schistosomiasis, references. Further reading, Andrew Copyright Ricardo Ribas Freitas and Rodrigo Noguera and Gerami. Spinal cord schistosomiasis, parasitic diseases, schistosomiasis, Professor Rashika L. Ridey. ISBN 978-953-51-0942-6, in tech, DOI, 10.5772-53771. Available, http www.intercopandcompdf-41921, external links, schistosomiasis at DMOZ, UNHCO site on schistosomiasis, River of Hope documentary about the rise of schistosomiasis along the Senegal River.